மம நாம ஸ்ரீதர் we are in the middle of sanskrit week right sanskrit day was on shravana purnima on the rakshabandhan day and we are in the middle of sanskrit week today during the sanskrit week we have another special occasion today is the aradhana of shri raghavendra swami raghavendra swami wrote many texts in sanskrit in the madhva philosophy so we have another special occasion today okay so today we are going to see how the sanskrit is at national and global level okay ah next thank you okay so we have five divisions sanskrit speakers and sanskrit media sanskrit films samskrita ads and samskrit in the foreign universities and the foreign land okay <laughs> so we know that lot of people are speaking samskritam right lakhs of people we have heard people speaking samskritam so how many of us we can speak samskritam good you can raise full hand no problem okay i can see 10 to 15 hands here good so among us we are among the lags for us now okay so it is on the global level we are thinking there are lags of people speaking sanskritam okay so in india we start with india in india there are speaking sanskritam people speaking sanskritam but there are special villages special gra- gaon gram where which is where people are speaking not only sanskritam but all of the people are speaking in sanskritam so the government has this, uh, declared those villages as the sanskrita villages or sanskrita gramaha sanskrita gramaha so two of the uh, villages is from karnataka mathura and hoshalli then jhiri in madhya pradesh mohad in madhya pradesh bhaguvar in madhya pradesh ganoda in rajasthan and sasna in odisha so these are the seven villages where all of the people there is no uh, means who are it may be they are speaking in sanskritam apart from other languages too okay so who are these people in these villages in the national level in the global level who are the people who are speaking in sanskritam is there only sanskrit professors or sanskrit students yes no no there are many other people who are attached to some other professions also okay they are ca lawyers engineers professors and teachers of other subjects I means sanskrit professor they are by default they are speaking sanskritam but even from the other subject mathematics and other uh, professors also speaking sanskritam armed personals doctors cab drivers ias shopkeepers musicians politicians doctors the list is very long so this is the some of the profession some of the people who are not relate directly not related to the uh, sanskrit profession but they are speaking the language okay so we have all the if you want who are they i can show you the record we have the videos and we have the direct contact with them okay we have scientists from isro our guruji who was a scientist in nasa he speaks in sanskritam so we have a direct example in front of us we have the isro scientist uh, the isro chairman dr radhakrishnan the former chairman he is speaking in he can speak in sanskritam so these are some videos it's in youtube but i cannot run it now because due to the time con- uh, constraint so any if anyone want to see the video you can come to the spirituality department we can show you the video uh, sorry so there is a textile shop in bengaluru where all the people are speaking sanskritam tailor welder many people so any wild guess how many people in india are sp- uh, can speak sanskritam according to the population any wild guess anyone faculty can also answer <laughs> lakhs thousands thousands please okay lakhs okay crores 
okay good guess so we have a government data according to the 2011 census 2011 was almost 14 years ago 2011 census we have 11 lakh 58408 people claimed that they can speak sanskritam out of which 24821 people claim that sanskritam is my mother tongue like we have kannada as our mother tongue tamil hindi as mother tongue so 24000 24000 plus people have claimed that sanskritam is my mother tongue this is according to the 2011 census of government the data is taken from the government website census of india now we, we have there's a gap of 14 years in between due to some covid we didn't have the census sanskrita bharati this is an ngo which which is engaged in teaching uh, pe learning the people to speak in sanskritam so their claim as of today is one crore people can speak in sanskritam globally so it's matching your guess good okay so when people the number of people speaking in sanskritam increases we have the media coming into the frame okay so we have the national television the national channel dd news doordarshan all of us know it's since many years they are running a news bulletin in sanskritam uh, in the morning 7 am and the evening 7 pm and apart from that they have a half an hour program on every saturdays and sundays called vartavali and akashavani the all india radio again the media government media the prasar bharati they are also uh, broadcasting a sanskrit bulletin in morning and in evening and there is a janam tv a private television a private news channel from kerala janam tv they are also telecasting a news bulletin in sanskritam and sanskrita bharati telangana they have the youtube sanskrit uh, news channel this is a daily news channel and we have a daily newspaper called sudharma also being published from karnataka uh, sudharma is a daily newspaper in sanskritam and we have sambhashana sandesha world's first multicolor and audio book in sanskritam okay and sambhashana sandesha is also being published from bengaluru you can all subscribe to that you can listen uh, the sanskrita stories and you can uh, develop your vocabulary in sanskritam so now sanskritam has we are talking sanskritam is an ancient language very much ancient language but we have some uh, we have now come up with more many more modern equipments modern machines so how could you name it in with an ancient language so sanskritam is there sanskritam is such a language is a scientific language where you can frame you can give a new word to the even the modern uh, equipments modern tools so it fits for that okay sanskritam is such a wonderful language scientific language so the language which you can give which is uh, going according to the modern thing okay so sanganakam duravani dhvani vardhini pinjaha chaya graha kendram the list is many more so again if you come to the spiritual department we can give you a good list of these uh, equipments in sanskritam now sanskrita films so we are much we need entertainment right all of us watch films so they are not much but and some four films are feature films the commercial films has been released so the very first film was in 1983 by gv Iyer called adi shankar acharya and again in 1993 again by the gv Iyer bhagavad gita priyamanasam in 2015 by vinod mankara and shakuntalam by Dushyan Sridhar. So these are the films, Sanskrita films. Uh, Bhagavad Gita and Adi Shankaracharya, you can go to the YouTube, you can search, you can get, uh, watch the full film, whole uh, film. Priyamanasam and Shakuntalam is available, I think, on OTT. And the documentary film. So this is first, there is only uh, one documentary film in Sanskritam about the Mars mission. We have all of have seen the Akshay Kumar's uh, Mars film, film on Mars orbiter mission. There is a documentary on Mars orbiter mission in Sanskritam, which is 
the whole documentary is given by the the isro the then isro director himself dr radha krishnan who was the director during the mars or um, uh, mars orbiter mission he himself speaks in sanskritam the whole do- there, there are there, there are no uh, actors the professional actors in this documentary the directors the scientists they themselves are speaking in sanskritam and they are giving the whole detail how they have worked for the mars orbiter this is a first hand experience of the scientist in sanskritam so we can also see this so again there are hundreds of short films students like you the students from the various backgrounds uh, like you they are making short films in sanskritam professionals are making short films in sanskritam if you go to youtube you can search sanskrita short films you can get hundreds of them uh, again sanskrita bharati uh, is organizing a international short film festival every year so in this year it is going to be in january 2025 is going to be in goa if you are interested you can also participate okay sanskrita ads so in 1950 there is a sanskrita ad for a bulb electric bulb okay so it's in amritavani there is a, there was a some magazine called amritavani where it was published the ad was published uh, so you can read and also we will give all the details okay later and there is a famous ad uh, in 2000s there was a ad of uh, bajaj discover so those who were in 2000 kids you should know you would know, you would be knowing marga uh, vriksha patitah marga avaruddah this tag line was there this is the famous line which would, which has become famous uh, of this ad and very recently very very recently then last week during the 15th august of 2024 axis bank come with come up with a uh, sanskrit ad for the password to securing your password so the hackers can hack the english password very easily if you have a sanskrit password the hackers don't know sanskrit so they cannot hack your accounts <laughs> so hridayat <laughs> udara so hridayat udara dil se open this is the tagline of axis bank they have made the tagline in sanskritam hridayat udara so you can check the sanskrit password website of axis bank okay so in so, so it's about how the india is looking for sanskrit how the foreign countries are looking in uh, looking the sanskrit as they have developed many researchers we have french research institute in pondicherry which is of french government which is set up in india to do research in indology uh, related to indian knowledge system and sanskrit uh, mainly so there are many such institutes uh, foreign institutes which are very much eager to learn sanskrit and to do uh, research in sanskrit the russians the uh, french uh, the germans the uh, americans so there are many lots of uh, foreign countries are interested in learning sanskritam so they are running many classes there are uh, means they are having many classes um, uh, in the usa in dubai the indian consulate and indian embassies are have uh, running many classes for the foreign nationals there apart from this uh there are many programs also during sanskrit week as we are celebrating they are also celebrating the sanskrit week in their country they are also conducting many programs singapore malaysia and everywhere so these are the some there are many universities but i have just listed some of them so these are the some of the universities which have department and they are teaching sanskritam in those departments like culture and religious studies of south asia heidelberg university Uh, sorry for the pronunciation if it is anything wrong uh, university of uh, university of oxford harvard university university of cambridge university of toronto the university of chicago the university of sydney uppsala university sweden and inalco france so these are some of the you know, there are many many more universities uh, but uh, i have listed some of them so this how they are into the research and learning the language sanskritam okay so we can also learn sanskritam so do research in your field with sanskrit dhanyavada om 
सर्वे सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चि दुखभाग भवेत् ओम शान्ति शान्ति शान्ति